Today, I'm going to show you how to vinyl wrap this mirror in one piece using TechWrap's SCM11 Bayside. This is the vinyl right here. This is not the actual finish as the vinyl comes with a protective cap on top of it. This mirror cap is one solid piece. You can potentially do this in two pieces. We'll save that for another video. Today, we're going to be doing this in one piece. I'm going to show you how. You're going to need a few things here. You're going to need a clean rag. We're going to need some isopropyl alcohol, about 70%. Some masking tape. Our heat gun, which I have sitting right here. And a knife. A squeegee with a felt buffer. And preferably a glove in case you need to use your fingers. Helps to have a glove. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to mask off the mirror using the masking tape. So we're going to do that. What we want to mask off is the perimeter, the outer perimeter of the area that we're not wrapping. The reason why we typically want to mask off this area is because we risk cutting onto other objects and that risks cutting the either the side marker here, the plastics around it. We don't want to do that. On top of that, it allows us to lift the vinyl off of the opposing area, the opposite area, and allows us to tuck the vinyl in neatly and tidily to the edge of this mirror cap. Am I going to be removing this mirror cap to wrap it in one piece? No, I am not. We're going to be doing this as it is. Now, this mirror cap has some extremely tight edges. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take a piece of vinyl, sorry, of tape, and we're going to mask it closely to the paint, but not on the paint. If we mask on the paint, then that defeats the purpose of trying to wrap over top of the paint. We're going to take this area here where the light is, or this side marker, and we're going to mask this area next. And I'm going to pull the tape tight. Great, let's move on. Most mirrors are flexible. You can pivot them either left or right. So I've pushed this one towards the back of the vehicle. That gives me some access to get in here. It's a little bit easier. It also gets me some access to get right there. Perfect. And then I'm going to try to push that in there. And then I'm going to mask the inside area. Same thing, I'm masking the black plastic panel. This is going to allow the film to slide off more freely and make our life a little bit easier. In my opinion, it's very important to do this step as I see a lot of damage done to vehicles that are not masked on the exterior side. We're gonna take this, finish this last piece off right inside here, perfect. Great, finished. Our next step here is to, I'm just gonna push that masking tape down, make sure it's solid, it's not in our way. So the next step here is to prepare the mirror using the isopropyl alcohol. We're going to mist the cloth and we're going to strip the surface contaminants from the actual surface. So that means like grease, wax, and other sur surface contaminants that might be there. We'll go for the main surface first. There's a very tiny stone chip there already. What's great about the wrap is that it's going to protect the paint. Is it going to protect it from very heavy and very aggressive impact? No, it will not, but it will protect it against very small stone chips like that one there. You'll be able to see all of this shortly. I'll bring you in. I'm now taking my squeegee and wrapping, it, and wrapping my cloth around the squeegee. I'm using the hard edge of the squeegee and not the side that has the buffer on it. This allows for a more precise way of getting in there into that edge and making sure that that edge is thoroughly cleaned because we want that edge to be clean because the edge that is here is our finishing edge. And if it's not clean, then again, we run the risk of having the film pull back or lift off. We don't want that. 
in most cases when you're wrapping the car, the, if the film fails, it's normally the fault of the installer most of the time. It's very rare situations where it's not the fault of the installer. I've wrapped a lot of cars. Our next step here is to size up the piece. As you can see, I have a strip of vinyl here and it's wider than the mirror cap here. So I'm going to take the length now, which is important, and I'm going to, it's a good idea to measure. So what, we, what you would need to do is measure from the inside all the way out to here using a soft tape measure. I'm going to eyeball it or ballpark it in this case because I have experience doing this. And we're going to take our piece of film. If not, I'll cut, I'll cut a new piece if it's not the right size. This piece right here should be the right size. We'll move the camera in so you can get a better picture of what's happening as far as all of this goes. Here, we're going to position and place our film in the correct spot. What we need to do is remove the protective cap from the super matte film, and it's going to unveil the, the actual color. So this is the actual color of what you're going to get. This is an illusion. It's just to protect it during shipping purposes, which is awesome because films can be damaged during shipping and this cap right here protects it. Now this cap, if you might ask, cannot be installed with the film because it is not pliable. So discard of it, let's get rid of it. What we're gonna do now is we're going to start on the most difficult area, which is the inside. I recommend that you do not remove the entire amount of the release liner. The release liner is this section here, the paper side, where you see the logos and the branding and the lines. I would recommend that you do not remove the entire piece because this will be easier if you don't. What we're doing right now is we're positioning the film on the inside of the mirror where it's going to be more difficult basically what, what would happen here is it would be more difficult to stretch the film from here over so we're going to take our film apply the film tension free on this side and then we're going to pull the film over top of this bend and this curvature the most difficult area here is going to be this lower corner but that's fine we're going to get it done now the next thing to check here is our positioning of the film. Do we have enough on the top and the bottom? Yes, we do. And lift that back up. And we're gonna go at this in just a moment. Let me just flatten out the inside, make sure that is all solid and looking good. Perfect. So just to make sure that everyone can see, you know, we've gotten all of this laid down really nicely. We're going to hold the film upwards. We're about to grab our heat gun. I have one small wrinkle just over here. So I'm just gonna take my thumb, my finger and push down on it. It goes away, done. We have this funny little piece of, I don't know what you wanna call that. I don't know if you can really see that, but we have this funny little piece right here. That's okay, the vinyl contours around it very easily. I haven't even added any heat yet. So I'm going to hold the film upwards like this. I'm going to move the camera back slightly to give you guys a better perspective. And what we need to do is we need to grab our heat gun and heat the film. As you can see, I still have partial release liner on and we're going to remove that back a little bit further. Having some of the release liner on will keep the film a little bit more straight. So as we're pulling right now, we have to be careful that we don't pull on just the release liner. I'm holding the film and the release liner. Now we're going to take our heat gun and we're going to heat the film. And I'm going to pull across as I heat the film. There we go. And when I feel like the film is stretchy and pliable, which it is right now, we don't want to heat it too much. But when I feel that it's stretchy and pliable, just like this, it's like a balloon, we're going to put our heat gun down. We're going to position our hands accordingly, so top and bottom. We want to make sure that we don't have any wrinkles when we do this. We're going to take our film and we're going to pull it very, very, very tightly across the actual panel. And I'm pulling it right down. I'm actually repositioning my hands and I'm pulling it right down to the very end of the mirror cap. 
finito. This should be good. Our concern is right here where we're going to get bunching up of the film. On the top side over here, I'm, I'm fantastic. I don't have to worry about anything at all. This turned out really, really nicely. I have a couple of small wrinkles, but that all goes away. Now, what should we do next? Should we squeegee out the air? Of course, we should squeegee out the air. So let's do that. Perfect. The air is now squeegeed out. The air more or less pressed its way out of the film as I pulled it across very tightly. The next trick here is to see what happens with this corner when we heat. So we're going to, I'm going to lift the film slightly and I'm going to start with my heat gun from the right side and move along to the left side. What we need to do is we need to worry about how much extra material is sitting over in this corner. If we have too much extra material in this corner, then this is not going to work. So I use the film, like right here, to actually shrink the film from this side across and start to pull that across this way. That's what will happen. Now, as you can see here, the film is a little bit shiny. It means that I've burnt it, but that's okay. I'm not actually, um, I'm not actually using this piece. That piece is going to be cut off and discarded of. It's a little, this is challenging, but we're gonna get it. We're going to take our squeegee and just finish off the lower section here. Now you can see that my squeegee is down to the very bottom edge of the mirror. We're going to finish and, sorry, we're going to continue along and make sure that our, fin our film is down to the very edge. Now I'm not stretching the film down, I'm just letting the film come down. Perfect, see all that? Very clean, super clean edge. We're going to now do the inside and make sure that that is nice and clean over on this side. I don't need to do much. It's already done because I laid the film down really nicely here and very easily um, with no tension. The next major part is to check to see if we have any tension at these edges here. Tension on the edges will look like wrinkles pulling off of the edge. If we have wrinkles pulling off of the edge, that's going to be problematic. So let's see. Now that I have tape on the edge, the film won't stick to it. See how it won't stick to it? So I'm gonna start with my heat gun from the right, move along to the left. We have some wrinkles here, but fortunately for us, the end of the mirror cap on this one is right here right down here this is the edge that is where the light fixture is so let's check it again let's hold this up and make sure that we don't have too much tension kicking around any of these edges tension is going to look like a lot of wrinkles sort of like this one but many more than this one if we have more wrinkles than this one we did something wrong we should start over what we need to do now since there isn't any room to tuck anything in here, what we need to do now is we need to press the film into position. And I like to do a scissor type or a Pac-Man's type of motion. We're also gonna need a detail tool. And that's something that I did forget to mention in the early part of this video. A detail tool or a tucking tool is going to help us get into this edge really nicely and all of the other edges that are extremely tight. So I'm gonna take my tucking tool and I'm going to, again, Pac-Man the film and I'm lifting off of the tape. It's, honestly, this is not a bad idea either. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our knife and we're gonna cut along this edge here and that's going to discard of a bunch of extra material which actually kind of bothers me having that much. So we don't need that much, so we wanna get rid of it. So we can get rid of a whole bunch of extra material and you can see that I sort of drag my blade along while pulling the film against it. It's a beautiful color. It's gonna look good. And let's continue now. So this is gonna make things a little bit easier. We have less vinyl that we have to lift off. I'm gonna make sure that I'm lifting off of the tape because you know, the tape is a very low energy and all masking tape is, but we do wanna make sure that the film is still not stuck to it and that we're not adding any tension 
to the edge. If we add tension to the edge, we're asking for the film to pull back off of the edge. We don't want that. We need to be as accurate and as precise as possible when it comes to this particular mirror cap because we cannot tuck in to anything on this mirror cap. So this is gonna be precision cutting when it comes to, when it comes to doing this. I'm going to be finishing off here, right underneath here. So I need to make sure, again, that I'm finding that edge all the way around the entire mirror. Let's come around here. So again, we have our tape here, and you can see like right here, there's some air, there's some space right there. We wanna make sure that there's no air and no space. So to do that, we're gonna lift the film up just on top of that gap, and we're going to take our tucking tool, and we're going to push the film in. See how much more defined that line is than it was previously before doing that. Again, come around here, and again, just really take your time. This is going to be, again, extreme precision when it comes to cutting, so we wanna make sure that we have as much coverage as possible. So let's come around here. There we go. That's not quite correct. There we go. I want it's extremely strange to find this, uh, there it is, right up there. There we go, I was a little bit off. See, this is why you check multiple times. Our tools don't always do the job for us, so they, won't, they shouldn't be doing the job for us. What we need to do is we need to be doing our best to ensure that we're finding the area that we need. Let's come around here. Perfect. Excellent. Great. At this point, I'm going to start trimming. I'm going to take our knife, I'm going to look very closely, make sure your knife is very sharp, and begin to trim. Okay, I have a bit more of a gap on the bottom there, so I'm going to separate the areas. Let's come across here. See what I did there? I cut on the tape slightly. It's great to have the tape there. Let's come now along here, I'll try and stay out of your way as much as possible here, and I really want to have a good look at what I'm cutting and where I'm cutting. If I don't, we're going to have issues. Very precise. You don't need much of a blade in there, that's very minimal. Last little bit right there, perfect. We're going to check this to make sure that the film is not going to pull back before we would give this to the customer and I'm going to show you how at the end of this video. We're gonna come around the area over on this side so I need to double check, make sure that my vinyl is sitting at the edge of where I need it to be. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna just press that down and around and really truly Make sure that this area is really good. Looks good to me. We're going to cut around this corner now. So let's come in from right here. Let's try and stay out of your way. I have to see though. Okay, so we're gonna come in from down there and then we're gonna come around. Let's go here, bring that around, okay? I'll finish off the rest of this and I'll bring the camera around for the other side. What we're gonna do, actually I'll just bring the camera around in a, in a second. What we're gonna do is this part now. Let's bring that in to show you a little bit more. This accurate, accuracy is extremely important. So now that, I, that I've kind of moved things around a bit, I wanna make sure I wanna double check this before I cut. I'm only gonna cut to about here. This area that's coming around the corner here and this area here are, are different. So we're going to cut from here to here and then we're gonna cut from here to the bottom. I like to do this in sections. I don't like to do this in one full, one full swoop because it's possible that you're going to miss your cut. We're going to find that little tiny space between 
the mirror cap and the actual black plastic of the mirror. You can hear the film. Of the, I'm actually on the tape there slightly for a second there. Okay, we're gonna stop there. You're gonna see right now that I did not accurately get this. It's pretty close. Right here I have a little extra vinyl and right here I have a little, little extra vinyl. What I can do, or I can try to do, is sometimes try to separate the plastic right here and push that in there. But this, again, this mirror cap is extremely tight. So right now I can tell you that I have that amount of extra film in this area. It's not good. You have to trim that out. And it's not able to tuck in. This is the hard part about this mirror cap right here. It's the cutting process. So for whatever reason, my knife was not perfectly in that little recess. And we're going to start it in there this time. And we're going to get it this time. Okay, I'm going to make sure that our knife is in that little recess. That's my hand squeaking along the edge. Cool. There we go. That's much better. I had overlapped the black plastic way too much. Much, much better. There, we're gonna go over it with this, our, our tucking tool, go over it really nicely. Bingo. Again, I still have too much vinyl, but that's okay. I have a little bit extra right here. We're gonna move the camera over a bit if I can and stay and manage to still show you what's happening here. Let's bring it around, right around. I don't need the heat gun just yet. So what we're going to do here is we're going to lift and we're going to find that line again. Perfect. I push very firmly with my tucking tool. I want to make sure that my film is as tucked in here as possible. And then we're going to come across right here. Right there. I have a lot more space on that edge for some reason. That's just how it is. That's just the way the mirror was designed. There's nothing we can do about that. Now, we have around this curvature to do. So again, I'm going to lift off of the tape. Make sure that I can actually cut this really nicely and can find that line really nicely. And then we're going to cut from basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the inside here if I can see while you're there and my knife just fits into the gap it's extremely tight I'm going to have a little bit too much of my knife out so I'm going to retract the blade but that my knife is in there really well okay we're going to take our time coming around the turn the turn is the, is the hard part right Right here, this little turn right here is the hard part of this cut, All, but also the precision. So that's the hardest part of that section there. And I believe, oh, we didn't quite finish it. So I almost tore the film off without making sure that I had cut through everything. So we're gonna come back in here and we're gonna check and make sure that that piece is fully severed from the rest of it. Okay. Now, the mirror is fully wrapped. I might as well show you from here and move around to the rest of it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna heat the film. We're gonna make sure that, A, nothing's moving or shrinking or do any, doing anything weird. We're going to take a tool, a very a precision tool, and we're going to make sure that this tool is in that recess nicely and that we're able to just finish off the film if we need to just to sort of like kind of right around here as you walk, as you see. Great. A little extra vinyl right here. So I'm going to grab my other tucking tool. I'm going to Pac-Man that in there. Perfect, that looks great. Just a little bit more. Perfect, good. Let's move around to the actual top section of this mirror and show you what's going on here. Now, a lot of people will be worried 
about this being a problem and lifting up. Do you see anything lifting up? So the film is responsive to heat when we stretch it. And in many cases, when we stretch the film, it's going to pull back when we add heat. Why? Because th that's what the film does. That's what all film does. It shrinks when we add heat. There we go. It's looking magnificent. On top of that, we should be going over all of these edges with heat afterwards. So the heat is going to tell us whether we did a good job or a bad job. And finish that off down there. Finish that off there. Perfect. We're going to come along here. Nothing is moving, okay? Zero. The heat, if I was to have any tension pulling off of this edge right here, the heat would show me a wrinkle pulling back, and it is not. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go over it and finish it off. Just a little bit of heat, a little bit of pressure from our nice little tucking tool, and that's it. This mirror is wrapped solid in one single piece. I'll take you for a little tour of how this looks all around. The beautiful thing about being able to do this is that we have no seam in this area here. Now there are ways to do this with two pieces, but I just showed you that the film is capable of doing this in one piece. If I remove the tape, we can kind of see more clearly on how, on how all this looks. And it looks great. Beautiful. That's it. That's how you wrap the mirror cap in tech wrap SCM 11 super matte Bayside. This color, beautiful. Great on definitely an exotic car. Great in southern temperatures for sure. Pretty much making you feel warm and cozy all year round. This color is awesome. Guys, I hope the video was informative and detailed. I'm looking forward to doing more videos for you. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Take care.